In this problem, we know that Shelley drew the figure below. And we want to know, based on the number of sides, what is the name of the figure? And then how many angles are in the figure? Let's start with the angles that are in the figure and, then, and also count the number of sides. So by side, usually what you might see in math is the word edge. It's another way of saying side. And a side on a shape is any line like this that's surrounded by two bends. You could think of those as bends, or where they meet another line. So these two are lines. Notice they meet at a point that's called a vertex. Usually they won't introduce that until later, but I thought you might want to know it. That point where lines meet, vertex. So we have two lines here. That's two sides, or edges. And then we have three, right? And we're just counting the shape. Four, and then five. So we have five sides. Now, angles that are inside the shape are formed by the lines we just counted. So these two lines that meet at a vertex form one angle. The same here, two, three, four, five angles. So that's the answer there. There are five angles, and then the name of this figure, you might know it, since it has five sides, it's called a pentagon. But let's talk for a little bit about why that is and what are some other shape names you might want to know. But why pentagon? Why is it called that? Well, penta means five, right? And penta is five, or pent five, and agon, or this is part of a group of polygons. What does that mean? Well, let's, let's look at that. Polygons, right, are, are often discussed in school, whether we realize it or not. And what that means, a polygon, is many-sided shape. Poly is the prefix, and that means many. Now, a polygon is typically closed, so you won't have something that's like this, right? Some shape that is, doesn't close and forms like that. You have to close it, and once you do, it's called a polygon. Now, a polygon can have many different sides, and they all have names for the amount of sides. That's how you name them, based on the number of sides. Could there be a one-sided polygon? Well, if you accept it, and there's a lot of debate on it, but if we just kind of curve a line and close it, kind of like a circle, we call that a monogon. Although this is, I should make a whole video on monogons, and because there's a lot of debate here about how this uh, conflicts with the definition of a polygon, but, but we can say for now that there are some people that that's consider a one-sided shape like this a polygon. And also then we have the fun idea of saying, can you have two sides? Well, we can call a digon. Di is the prefix meaning two, just like mono means one. Well, here, if you think of two curved lines meeting, right, this can form a polygon, but again, there's a lot of debate there. Where things start to get accepted are with three sides, right, a trigon, or as you often call it, a triangle. A trigon, tri means three sides. So after a trigon, we have rhombuses and, and all these things like rectangles and parallelograms. Usually call them quadrilaterals, quad for four. Lateral, but if we're being consistent here with polygons, you can call that a tetragon, although you probably never will call it that in, in school right now at least. Then we keep going. Next is the pentagon, pent meaning five, and then we have a hexagon, H E X meaning six, then a heptagon, meaning seven sided shape, and then an octagon, meaning eight sided. And I mean, usually we don't talk about the nine-sided shape, or but since we are, you can say this. I've seen it written many times. Enneagon, maybe. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, because we don't say it very often. And then ten-sided, you, you see a lot. Decagon. Dec meaning ten. Oct for eight-sided meaning, meaning eight. And then, uh, if I'm saying it right, enneagon for nine sides. Now... The point is not to memorize the amount of sides, but to recognize the prefix or the front of the word tells you how many sides there are. Now, no one's going to ask you really to memorize all of these, but I thought you'd have fun seeing um, some of the more common ones, and here, or uncommon ones for that matter. Anyway, typically the ones you have to know are pentagon, hexagon, possibly heptagon, octagon for eight sides, and decagon for ten. You might want to know quadrilateral. You see that a lot. Usually it's, it's called more specifically what type of quadrilateral, but it's there. Trigon is usually referred to as a triangle, but we'll call it a trigon here. Anyway, 
Hope you enjoyed this review of polygons.